Hi, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us and hanging out with us today at Circle of Sisters 2020 Virtual. How amazing is it that we are able to still come together regardless of our current circumstances? Thank you so much for watching. And if you're going to watch on the replay, we thank you for even taking the time, even though you couldn't make it today, to be able to see us shine. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Denise Grant. I am the owner of HackTack Events. HackTack Events is a full service event planning company. We are based in New Jersey, but we do service all of New York and the tri-state area. We even travel. When I say full service, what do I mean? We take care of it all from the beginning to the end. We take care of all of our clients' needs and we make sure that their day is extra special. So today we are here to give you a little bit of that. We are here to give you a little holiday flair, the hack tack way, to show you how to create magic in your home for the holidays and any other special occasion that you may have coming up. Before we get into everything you see here, because I know you're wondering what all this is, tell me, how has COVID-19 been for you? We have been in this pandemic for quite some time and it has definitely changed the way that we celebrate and we embrace each other's special moments. Our large events have become significantly smaller and we have had to reduce numbers for safety purposes and to be able to keep ourselves healthy in the process. But I feel our creativity has risen to the occasion because we have done so many amazing things. We have done so many different events and we have paid so much attention to detail and our client's sense of creativity has heightened throughout this process that it has been an amazing thing to see. And kudos to the clients, because who knew you could think so much out of the box? Okay, let's begin. So you've been watching me with all of this beauty on the table and you're looking and you're going, Denise, what is all of that? Okay, let me introduce you to the things. So when you pick your holiday table, the first thing you wanna do is create a color palette in your head. What color do you wanna have in your home this year? Is it something that matches what's already in your home? When you think Thanksgiving, which is what I'm gonna do today since we are so close upon it, you think oranges, reds, greens, browns, and this year I've gone a little bit out the box with a different color. I'm adding a little blue. I have blue in my home. I have been obsessed with blue velvet. So now I'm going to use that all in my color scheme for my Thanksgiving holiday table. Let me introduce you to the things that are on the table. One thing you need, a tablecloth. It can be festive, it can be colorful, it can be plain white. You can get all of these items that I'm going to show you at your basic local store. You can get them on discount, you can get them on sale, you can get them last minute, you can get them ordered last minute from vendors. So don't think that you cannot obtain these items, you definitely, definitely still can. All right, so after the tablecloth, you're gonna start with your plate settings, a charger plate, which for you guys is a very large plate. But the good news is it doesn't have to be glass. This one happens to be plastic and it is very beautiful. Wait till you see it all put together. On top of our charger plate, we wanna get our dinner plate and our salad plate. My salad plate happens to be very festive. Look at what that says. We're gonna be thankful this year. Very grateful for this one. Of course, my blue velvet. I had to go get my napkins and I'll show you how to put that all together. We're gonna use our glassware Two different options. This one's real, this one's artificial. You can get high glasses, low glasses. For the clumsy aunt that drops everything and you don't want her to break the good china, here are the good options. We have our utensils. Mine are real. They have great options for these in artificials. So don't think you have to use the real items. You can get everything on the table artificial and it still looks absolutely amazing. Now let's get into the decor. I, of course it's Thanksgiving. Who wouldn't want a pumpkin on the table? And this is actually a real guy, but they do have artificial pumpkins. You can get fake ones. You can get ones that glitter. You can get ones that sparkle. Or if you're a DIYer, excuse me, Spray paint can be your best friend and you can make this a good ombre gold pumpkin. 
it is going to be okay after if you spray paint it. Just don't eat it if you're gonna do that. We also have florals for the flower lover, like me. And then for the non-flower lover, we have floating candles and candlesticks. So we're gonna show you guys how to incorporate all of that and put it all together to make two beautiful tables. We're gonna make one with florals and we're gonna make one with candles. Okay, let's get started. So we're gonna start by placing and you see my tablecloth is festive. We went with the checkerboard print of, of course, our blues and our oranges and our whites. We started with our charger plate. We're gonna place our charger plate as the first plate on the table. We're gonna take our napkin. Now there's different ways to fold your napkin. I'm gonna show you one of the easiest but most elegant ways. We're gonna fold that in threes. And we're gonna take one and we'll have it meet in the middle. And we'll get this long piece here like that. Now you can do two things with it. You can place your dinner plate down and you can take your charger plate and fold your napkin until it's in between your charger plate and your dinner plate and then place your salad plate right on top. Now let's look at the second way to fold and make your table beautiful. So we're going to continue to leave our napkin in our triple fold. We're going to take our dinner and our salad plate off of our charger plate. We're going to leave the charger empty for now. We're gonna take our triple fold and place it directly in the center and let it hang off the side of the table. Then we're going to place our dinner plate and our salad plate right on top. And that is another way to make your table beautiful and festive with your plating. Now let's put together our glassware that would go on the right. And we will also put together our utensils. Our forks go on the left, knife and spoon on the right, right underneath the glassware. And voila. With a little at-home magic, our table plate settings are all set. Look how gorgeous that is. Now we're gonna get to our decor. Okay, so we see in the center of our table, we have our water for our candles, our pumpkins. We also have some decorative boxes to create height, symmetry, um, just a little extra cuteness. Uh, we have some flowers, we have some candles. We also have this high chalice glass here, which is also for candles. And we're just gonna create two different looks. So let's start with the floral look. The good news is you can incorporate the candles with both the floral and the non-floral look. Okay, let's get started. So we've set our plates. Now we're gonna do our decor in the center. We're gonna take our decorative boxes and we're gonna use them just to create a little height. I always tell everyone to buy in twos, fours, and sixes, depending on the size of your table. You always wanna leave about two inches off the ends, depending on your length. I'm using a four by four table. My setting is only for four. So we're gonna start with our pumpkins. I put the smaller pumpkin on the highest area. And if you want it to be seen a little bit more, you can place all of the boxes together. That way one pumpkin has a lot more height than the other. And that's okay. You wanna be able to give that item presence on the table. And you'll place your smaller one down. And then you can even change around the symmetry of your boxes because they're different sizes. They'll do different things. So you'll still get a little height on one, more height on the second one. That way our little guy here gets to be seen a little bit more. So we said we were doing our florals and we're incorporating some candles. We won't incorporate all of the candles, but we will incorporate some. Now, this is our center. What you do to one side, you will definitely need to do to the other. Always keep that in mind when you are decorating. So we're going to take our smaller florals and all of these flowers, these are real flowers, they can all come from your local supermarkets. You don't have to go anywhere special. And you pick based on your color palette. I know I had a lot of blue on the table, so I bought a lot of orange florals to keep my color scheme alive in the center. 
And if you don't like real florals, you can use artificials. What's so special about florals? How do we get them to stay this beautiful? We just buy them, cut them, and place them in a vase with water. That is it, nothing more. And they make your table completely sparkle and shine. So like I said, what we do to one side, we must do to the other. We're creating symmetry. So we're going to put down the candles that are here. I have two small votives, also in gold. We just want to place them strategically on each side. They don't have to be in anywhere special. You don't even really see them right now on the table. They're really 100% not here. Then we have some candlesticks. We're going to place one on each side of the florals that we put on the outside. That way we do get a little shine with our candles. So now we have some larger vases that we place on the outside and that gives the table a full presence down the center. And there we have it. Our table is set with florals. Look how beautiful. Now, you're not a floral person. You don't really like flowers. What do we do? Okay, we take up all the flowers. So we're gonna take away our florals and we're gonna take them away from our centerpiece We'll leave the candles where they are because we're still gonna incorporate our candlesticks and we'll incorporate some other candles. But we're gonna completely take away our candles, I'm sorry, our florals. And we're gonna leave just our pumpkins and that is what is going to give our orange off. So it's just our orange pumpkins and we wanna create a little beauty on the table. We're gonna play up our gold accents that we have in all of our utensils that we have here and all of our plate settings by adding a little bit more gold into our centerpiece that we're going to do with no florals, just candles. So we've left our candlesticks, we've left our pumpkins, we've left our height boxes, we've even left our two votives, we'll now move them again. We're going to add our two very large chalices directly in the center right by our pumpkins. And then on the outside, you've seen these vases with water. We're gonna place them on the outside, on the outer edges. And we're going to add inside them floating candles. And again, all of these things can be found in your local store, in your neighborhood. You can order them online and they will come just in time for the holidays. Inside the chalices are our pillar candles and they will create that beautiful light from high above. We will place our floaters directly inside of our vases with water. That way they float right on top. And just like that, you have created a beautiful table using just your orange pumpkins and your candles, no florals. Sneaking in a third look, I've added an abundance of color and candlelight by leaving our chalices and leaving our candlesticks, but adding back our florals. So you get height, beauty, and color all in the same breath on your table. How gorgeous is it? And there you have it. We have just created a tablescape together. Not bad, right? What do you think? I think you guys can do it. Creativity has been on such an all-time high thanks to COVID-19 that I cannot wait to see what you guys come up with. Now these tablescapes and dinner settings and all of the fancy things that you can come up with to do are not just for the holidays. They are for every occasion that you can think of to celebrate right now because we need to celebrate. We need to be able to enjoy each other in every way we can while still staying, staying safe and socially distant. One of the biggest ways we're doing that right now Zoom and all other virtual platforms have been amazing during this time as we have been able to celebrate with our family and friends, not just holidays, but all special occasions and still be able to stay socially distant and safe. Okay, so we've put it all together. It looks amazing. And you're looking at me going, I, I, I can't do it, Denise. No, I need help. Good. I have an amazing set of frienders and vendors that I can send your way 
that would be so honored to be a part of your special occasion. And it is such an amazing thing to support a small business in this time. So let me run you my list. I myself can come out and I can definitely help in our tri-state area for all our New Yorkers. For florals, you can use Alexis Denise of Alexis Denise Florals. Lex is amazing at what she does. You will not go wrong. For food, you can use our friends at JVF Pantry and KDS Comfort Foods. I know this year I'm home. I may be calling one of them. Food is absolutely amazing. If you're one for traditions and you do stuff fun for the kids or you do some non-alcoholic things and you want to have mocktails and specialty drinks, our friends at Concierge Bartenders are your guys and girls for that. Now, if you're here in New Jersey and you're looking for florals, the Ritz-Walton Collection definitely will take care of you. If you're looking for your specialty mocktails and traditional drinks, our girlfriends at Poured will definitely do that as well. Thank you so, so much for joining us today and creating a little holiday flair the Hack Tack way. I cannot wait to see what you guys come up with and I hope I get to hear all of your stories and if you need any help, please feel free to reach out to me. Again, my name is Denise Grant. I am the owner of Hack Tack Events. Please continue to enjoy Virtual Circle of Sisters. I know I am. Have a good day, guys.